Hello and welcome to the Happy 4 PR podcast. Today I'm here with Alison Bartram from the Heart Gallery. Hello Alison. Hello Fiona. Tell us a little bit about, about the Heart Gallery and where it first began. Well Heart Gallery began in, well in my mind at the a little seed a long time ago, but it actually became reality in 2006 when I stumbled across this beautiful building that we're in, which used to be an old chapel. First of all, I thought it was too big for what I wanted. I was a little bit scared, a little bit nervous. That leap of faith starting your own business in a very difficult climate. But I soon realised before I opened the doors in September 2006 that I'd done the right thing. I remember you had all different artists here and, and I think just watching your business evolve and grow, I think it's amazing what you've done. And especially going through the recession and the floods and things like that, you've stepped up and gone through it. Describe how that's been. Oh, thank, first of all, thank you for that, for being there at the beginning. It was a, a party night to remember and never forget. It was a good night. Yeah, it has been a struggle and it still is a struggle and it always will be. You know, you you face different challenges all the time, despite having the, the floods, which were devastating two years ago. It, it has taken us the last 18 months sort of to get back on our feet. But there's other, there's other challenges all the time that you have to face. But you just have to just concentrate on what you're doing. The, the good thing for me is the fact that I come to work every day feeling the same as I felt the first day I opened my door in 2006. I look forward to the day. I look forward to whoever's going to come through the door. I look forward to finding new artists, new makers. And that makes a big difference. That helps you get through the challenges that you have to face. So how do you find and source your artists? It's cha- again, it's changed over the years. When I first opened, I only had 30 makers, but because I'd worked in the Yorkshire Craft Centre at Bradford previously, I had, so- I had worked with some makers. So they came on board and they supported me from the beginning. And some of those are still with me now, which is fabulous, eight years later. But as I've built up a reputation, I'm finding more increasingly people are approaching me now. I do still go out looking. I, do, I mean, it's 24-7. I never switch off. Going to shows and things like that, you know, do you do that? What's your main show that you go to or shows that you go to in the year? Yeah, the smaller ones. So BCTF and Great Northern Contemporary Craft Fair at Manchester. So that was great when that opened about three, four years ago now. So the smaller ones. I, I don't tend to go to, to the larger ones. They, it, it's very uh, difficult to find an independent in the large shows. But BCTF and, uh, and the Great Northern are brilliant. So what do you look for in an artist and a maker? Well, we have a we do have a certain style here, and we're very it, being in Hebden Bridge. It's we're on Market Street, which I, I feel is the better top end of town because it's uh, attracted businesses, like-minded businesses. So there's four galleries on here, and we all concentrate on different things. So we all have our own style. So we don't tread on one another's toes. We're very respectful of what the others are doing. Hannah with the lighting gallery radiance, for instance, you know she's she's got that market zone up. You wouldn't want to tread on her toes it's you know it's brilliant and uh, then we've got Calder Gallery which concentrates on paintings and sculpture and Ed at Snug Gallery at the end which is more contemporary ceramics we've got a different look again entirely so we, we've been known in the past for being contemporary jewellery and craft based but over the last couple of years we are heading more towards the fine art and it's working we've got our own little picture gallery now and we've started to do solo shows from there so yes we have evolved over the last eight years we've evolved and we're evolving in the right direction so tell us a little bit about your fine art section so i know recently you've had the exhibition with kate lysett how did that go Kate's exhibition was wonderful. I, th- I think it exceeded everything that she'd expected as well. From just having a coffee with her in Cafe Solo one morning and discussing the possibility of doing the solo show. We had the coffee in November, the solo show was in March. She didn't know what to expect and it was it was phenomenal. I mean, she is a, because she's local, and she has got a good following locally, but it's now that little ripple effect in the pond, you know, which she launched here at two, uh, about 18 months ago. And we launched the uh, solo show in 2013 in March. And it has had that ripple effect. Yes, she's got local followers, but we've had that ripple effect since. And she's spread, and we, we're sending prints off to Australia, to Turkey, to Spain. It's really grown. So it's grown for her and it's grown for us as a gallery. That's fantastic. I, I mean, you know, I was there at the exhibition and, and Kate has grown from strength to strength as an artist. It does make a difference being supported by, by good galleries as well. Tell us about your next exhibition. Again, another one that we're really excited about, and this is one by uh, Gillian Lee Smith, 
called We All Cast Shadows, which launches. We have a conversation with her this month on the 18th of September, so you can come along and meet her, sort of a Q&A session. And then, and are you hosting that? I am, yes. Started to get a little bit nervous about that, but uh, it's something I've not done before, but it's something... I've always wanted to do. I do a Meet the Maker on the blog, which is phenomenally successful. People want to know more about the artists that we have here in the gallery. I've always wanted to take that out of the computer and bring it into the gallery as a, you know, and people come along and meet the maker here. And we've done it a few times, but we've not really pushed it. So this will be a nice sort of start to, to hopefully having more events like this within the gallery of meeting the maker and conversations with and, 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 and informally. It's not a formal event either. So... I don't know why I'm feeling nervous because it is just an informal chat with her. It's the start of things to come. The first solo show, isn't it? It is, yeah. She has had work here before. First, I knew about Gillian's um, sculptural work, really interesting sculptural work, but we first chatted in 2012, early 2012, Gillian and I, where she explained that she was wanting to go down more fine art, more paintings. Very nervous about it. She, she wasn't, didn't know whether she was quite ready. And I had an exhibition coming up with, 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 called May All Your Dreams Come True that I thought her work would be perfect for, sort of based on fairy tales and folklores, which is what she's inspired by. So, yeah, so 2012, she launched three original paintings with us that did sell here to local collectors. And I've seen in the last two years, like from first seeing her in 2012 to seeing her now, how much she's grown already. And I know you're saying she's, she's in the early stages, and she still is. Oh, yeah. But she's grown so much more in the last 18 months, 24 months. So, But as a collector, as a buyer of artwork, it's the early stages of an artist's work that you want to invest in. If you're at the early stages of Dali or Picasso, you want to kind of catch them in the early stages and follow through with them as well and, and go on their journey. And I think the talk is very valuable to find out the insights behind an artist's mind of what they're working on definitely I mean yes. when do you get a chance to see that you know to hear that you don't very often so it's quite unique what you're doing yes it is and like you say quite often people we have customers coming in here they see a piece on the wall they they love it they can see where it's going to hang at home and they they walk away with it we very good here at the gallery we display all the makers names and pictures of them so people do feel like they know the artist but they've not met them they do leave with an artist statement so they can learn more about that artist, but they haven't met them. And that's the that's the important thing about this conversation with Gillian, that people can meet her. So when is the conversation? 18th of September at 7 o'clock here at the gallery, yes. Yeah. So tell us when you first saw Gillian's work and what you liked about it. Again, that's going back to 2012, so a couple of years ago. And she actually approached me. I, I was aware of her sculptural work but I wasn't aware that of the paintings. So it was really nice to meet her and chat to her and, and see them. And they immediately spoke to me. Her work did speak to me. It's very atmospheric and it really pulls you in and it's thought provoking and it sort of touches your soul. And I knew because of the nature of her work and how she's, and, and what, how she's been inspired, they are dark, some of them. But that's what I like about them, that two people will see something different in Gillian's work. You could both stand in front of one of her paintings and both read something entirely different into it. One person would be really moved by it in a positive way. Someone might be moved by it in a negative way that might take them somewhere that they didn't really want to go themselves. So it might stir up some negative feelings in them from their past that actually scares them. Whereas it might stir up positive feelings from other people's pasts. And that is enlightening and enriching. It's an emotional response, it isn't is. it? Yes. Both those answers, they're, they're emotional response, and at least it's a response. Yes, definitely, know? yeah. And I think that's why it's it's definitely worth coming along, meeting Gillian on the 18th, but also coming along to the exhibition. But, so tell us a little bit about the exhibition and when it's going to be in all of that. We All Cast Shadows launches on the 2nd of October. The, the preview is at 6pm. We've got some lovely invites that if people want one, but you can turn up on the night anyway without the invite. And then it runs right through till January. January, so all the way through the winter months and right through into January, her work will be on display here. You've got some dates in the diary. We've, we've talked about the 18th and then the, the preview is on the 2nd of October. And then there's also another date, isn't there? Where, um... There is. Uh, again, a, a first for the gallery and we're really, really looking forward to it. And that actually came from the artist. It was her suggestion and I thought, what a brilliant idea. So she's coming along to us on the 30th of October 
and bring in her easel and her paints and she's going to set up in the picture gallery so people can just come in and see her at work chat to her if they want to or just sit and watch her you know it's 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 one of those things that we don't know what's going to happen on the day but she's here and you know she's got her easel here she's got her paints here it's not her own studio but we're going to try and make it feel like it is and you're as a you know you can come along and and see her and meet her and watch her and this is what I love about the Heart Gallery art series is that you you're you're capturing the artist in many different sides so you're capturing you know the thought behind the work on the 18th you're actually seeing the finished product on the 2nd of October and then you're you're going to meet the artist in action as it were and see her painting i mean that is incredible the whole three elements to that is wonderful i really like your new direction oh thank you and like i say the, the 30th has been really given to me by Gillian yeah as, as a as a gift and it, what an amazing gift absolutely oh well I look forward to, to seeing Gillian's work we all cast shadows and thank you very much for speaking to me thank you Fiona if you would like to know more about the Heart Gallery go to www.heartgallery.co.uk thank you for listening